जय स्वामी नारायण स्टूडेंट्स थॉट फॉर द डे इज द बेस्ट वे टू प्रिडिक्ट योर फ्यूचर इज टू क्रिएट इट चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद पार्ट फोर ऑफ लेसन नंबर एट दैट इज नेटवर्किंग कॉन्सेप्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट इज जस्ट रिकॉल वॉट ऑल थिंग्स वी स्टडीड टिल नाउ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी स्टडीड वॉज कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क राइट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इट इज अ सेट ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स दैट इज कनेक्टेड टूगेदर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ शेयरिंग डेटा और अदर रिसोर्सेज थ्रू अ केबल और वायरलेस मीडियम राइट केबल्स वी सो वॉज नेटवर्क इंटरफेस कार्ड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द इथरनेट कार्ड we even saw hub or a switch it is a device through which all the computers are connected in a network we also saw some wireless computer networks like wifi that is wireless fidelity bluetooth and infrared rays bluetooth it is a wireless technology which is used for very short distance connections to transmit or to transfer data from one device to many devices at a time we even saw types of computer networks lan man wan right local area network metropolitan area network and wide area network right then we saw some advantages of computer networks like easy communication and speed ability to share files data and information sharing uh, hardware and software security and the last was speed right network components like network cable switch network cards or network adapters we all saw we saw this all things right we even saw uh, network architecture two kinds of network architecture client server network and peer to peer network today we are continuing with network security right now what is network security network security it protects our data and our resources from unauthorized persons that means we can protect our pc or our devices right so that it remains up to us only and no other person can access it uske andar usko use nahi kar sakte device ke andar so what we do we put some passwords to our devices right networks are usually restricted so only authorized users what do you mean by authorized users authorized that means the person those who are given rights to access the device for example uh, i have one i have my pc right and i have put in password inside that so jisko password malum hoga wahi wo device ko open kar sakta hai right suppose that password is shared with you and me only so only we both know the password so only i and you are authorized person to access the device so that is called the authorized user right too many users accessing a device will result in slow down for example if more if the more person than the authorized uh users uses the computer or the device it makes the device work slow right because it takes so much of uh, work pressure and workload right now uh, uh, there need to be security measures in place on every network and the security measures are three kinds of measures first is logins and passwords next is access levels and third is encryption let us see all these things together one by one uh first is logins and passwords see an authorized users is one who has been given login id and password i told you that usually by the network manager the authorized users they have to change their password to do to something that cannot be easily guessed your password should be a little tough so that you cannot easily guess the password suppose if you want to access my device and you don't have any password so i should not 
put an easy password like my phone number or birth date or my full name that are the easiest guessing passwords so your passwords should be something different which cannot be easily guessed and your password should be regularly changing you should keep changing your passwords regularly for the safety purpose right so that is your logins and passwords next we have is access levels now in a network not all users have the same access level access level that means har ek cheez ko aap access nahi kar sakte use nahi kar sakte right some users they may be able to use a number of applications only right suppose in your pc you have 10 applications so it is not necessary that you are allowed to access you are allowed to use all the all those 10 applications you have some restrictions that the network manager provides you the rights to operate only a few softwares or few applications right this is because they have different access levels set up from the, for them this ensures that authorized users can use only the hardware or software or data that is necessary for them to do the job right uh, access level if we take example of our own computer lab you might have seen somewhere that in your computer lab you children are allowed to use only specific softwares right or specific datas some of the datas and some of the application softwares are denied access from you all so that is called your access levels the last topic we have is encryption what do you mean by encryption it is a process of encoding messages or information in such a way that only authorized parties can read it out this means applying a math formula known as a key to a file it might look like a jumble or unrelated characters from the keyboard if somebody gets the file and opens it they they may see uh what they see is of no use to them right kuch code jaisa hota hai that is called key right wo ek aisa code hota hai jo authorized person ko hi wo decode kar sakta hai aur usko samajh mein aa sakta hai right to decrypt the file apply the key to unscramble the file and read it ye bahut strong hota hai and it also comes with password protected sometimes that is called your encryption a hacker is an unauthorized user in the network trying to get access to it you know what is a hacker right hacker it is a person jo hamare computer system mein login karne ki koshish karega unauthorized way right if a hacker get access to some confidential files some private files then it might create a big problem for an organization or any officers as the hacker might use the data illegally right so to ensure the protection in one way is simply to create a password or a file to a file or a folder right so when someone tries to open up the file or folder they have to enter the correct password to proceed further that is called so encryption understood that was all for the whole lesson children we'll continue with exercise part from next session jai swaminarayan